Your A's get your A's, your boys, I'm back here with another video, and in this video today, guys, we're going to be doing a gameplay of the new Dark Man, Jimmy Butler in NBA 2K23, my team. Now, here's the deal. This Jimmy I'm going to be playing with is going to have 41 badges. Now, obviously, the highest he gets base is 40. This one has that extra Hall of Famer. Now, what's the difference between the base Jimmy and this Jimmy? These are the extra, basically, attributes, the extra thingy, things that do matter. Plus three interior, plus five block, plus 18 total rebounding stats. Ball handle does go up a little bit, as was the post moves. Badge-wise, all basically shooting. Agent three, blinders, catch shoot, clutch shooter, corner specialist, guard up, limitless range, midi magician, slippery off ball, as well as that Hall of Fame rebound chaser. As far as a complete card, Jimmy Butler is going to be extremely, extremely tough in NBA 2K23, my team, from top to bottom. Now, the extra Hall of Famer that my Jimmy does have is Volume Shooter, which is actually a pretty good extra badge for Jimmy Butler, who doesn't come with Volume Shooter base on the card. The craziest part about me using this Jimmy Butler is I bid on a Jimmy Butler base card earlier that I would actually had to do the Evos of for like 550000 and lost it. This Jimmy I got for four hundred and fifty, I think. So, I mean... Ended up saving a lot of MT by not getting the first one. As far as his release, it's honestly pretty cheesy. He leans back on it. Should be easy for you guys. Two time and two green. Obviously, release isn't as quick as Terry. Isn't as quick as T-Mac. But after those two guys, I mean, I, I'm not saying Jimmy's release is going to be the next quickest. But I like it, right? Leans back. It's going to be tough to get a contest on. And just as an overall release, I'm a fan of it. Leaner wise, normal leaner, which I I personally still like the normal leaner. I know everybody is just fascinated by the tray leaner, which is obviously the best leaner in the game. But I'm still, I, I'm a fan of the, uh, of the normal leaner. No question about that. Check out the full court dribble six once again. Tween, solid, behind the back, good. Crossover, good enough. And Jimmy Butler is looking like he's it. Can we replicate his performance from the other night? I doubt it, but I'm going to try to do my best here with Jimmy Butler. My opponent here is an absolute sweat, but he only really has one guy that can make plays, and that's Ron Artest. So we're going to put Jimmy Butler on him, and as long as I shut him down, I should be okay. Oh yeah, Jimmy, walk back. I mean, look at the movement of bailout, ass, and that's what bailout does for you. I mean, look at the defense Jimmy is playing right here, and that's my whole thing, is it's not just his offense. His defense is absolutely immaculate as well, getting me a little chase down block right there. He not shooting it. He not shooting it. Yeah, Jimmy. Yeah, Jimmy. He guarding everybody. Jimmy guarding everybody. He guarding everybody. No way. No way. No way. No way. Good run. Uh, hit him. Ronnie. Uh-oh. Chick. Chick. Chick for Ron Artest. It's defense leading to offense. Easy one for Yao. I mean, before you know it, Jimmy's already got three assists in the game. He's giving me sending two bodies every time. And so I got to just make the right play. Uh-oh. Got him. Got him. Ah, I didn't green it, though. Jimmy... Jimmy getting straight to that rim. Come on, Ty. Board. Hit him. Hit Jimmy. Walk back. Jimmy! Jimmy! Come on. Yep, and we're right back on Ron Artest. Yep, love it. I love it, Jimmy. I love it, Jimmy. I love it, Jimmy. We're right back here. I love it, Jimmy. I love it, Jimmy. 
That's not a stop, though. He's got badge, whatever. Should have been my stop, but whatever. I'm over it. Jimmy. That's good D, though. Two for one in this situation. You don't got to tell me twat. Holy cow. Why am I getting blocked in such fluky ways? Every single play, I swear, it's it's a fluke block, man. Look at Jimmy. That's D, though. He holds D, man. Come on, watch out. Of course, bro. Get back. <sighs> he was great defensively. Offensively, he left a lot to be desired. It's kind of what I expected out of Jimmy, right? Offensively, I mean, maybe thought he would be a little bit better, but I definitely expected his defense to be better than his offense. No question there. Again, just get to the rim. That's what he's giving you. The problem is he's got two fluke blocks. Finally, Jimmy got some space got some separation and he will do the rest and before you know it he's up to nine points in the game uh-oh jimmy butler doing jimmy butler things with the a b glitch nowhere to go nowhere to go look at jimmy playing d that's ours look at jimmy playing d Jimmy! Uh-oh. He's found what he's looking for. Uh-oh, mine. Ah, that's me. I thought I had him crab. That's my fault. Come here. Got him. It's not a foul. That's not... I know he's tired, but that not being a foul is crazy. No chance he hit it. Oh, my gosh. Every time it feels like I'm about to take control, my opponent does something crazy. Like, <laughs> how is that a, a stop? I don't know, but I guess it is what it is. Jimmy. He's tired. He's got to get a break sooner rather than later. The pass. Like, what are we doing? It's all good. It's not really Jimmy's fault, right? At all, because he's getting what he wants. Another dunk for Jimmy Butler. I just I feel like I've been I've been in a box though with Jimmy. Like the way he's playing defense is has been really tough for me to crack. Good shot. But that's what I'm saying. Like that's what he's giving up is that rim run. Every single possession. He's, he's covering the three ball and saying, run to the rim. Show me that you do that because I, I never run to the rim. All right, I got to green this one. My fault. I got to lock in on free throws. That's me. No way. Run. Tough. It's just tough, man. You got to respect a guy that plays as much D as my opponent does. Whoop. Again, straight to that rim. That's what I've got to do because right now, that's what he's giving me. I just literally got to run to the rim. That's what he's giving me on every possession. Just run to the rim and, and try to figure it out because that's literally what he's giving me. Finally, Jimmy. <sighs> Thank you. That's an absolute dot. Credit to him, man. He missed. Thank you, Ron. Jimmy! Jimmy! Come on, that's the one right there. Jimmy, that's the one. Oh, I'm good. I don't need no help. 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 Uh, none. Switch. You... You ain't switch it? No, 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 bored. You ain't bored? Bored. You ain't bored? Oh my gosh. 
Y'all are sellouts. Y'all are sellouts, man. All right, come on. Come on. It's what legends are made of. What legends are made of Jimmy Butler? Lock in. Lock in on the free throw tie. Lock in on the free throw tie. Yep, lock in on it. I know I didn't play good with Jimmy. I get it. But when it came down to it, he made a play when it needed to be made. I say I like Jimmy Butler, but my point of him not being a primary ball handler still stands. If you run Jimmy Butler, you got to run him as a secondary ball handler. And with the way the game is right now, that's tough because the shooting guard is the position where you're going to see primary ball handlers more often than not. It's just the way the game is played. Defensively, he was an absolute menace. And the craziest part about this whole thing is Jimmy Butler at the point guard position is a card I really actually love. And so I do like this Jimmy Butler. I just like him more at the point guard position until we get that out of position, Tracy McGrady, until we get those point guards that really can move and groove and run an offense. Now, again, obviously, you know, Jokic is good. Ron Artest is good. But those guys, again, to me, are better as secondary ball handlers. So for me, am I going to hold on to Jimmy? Do I think he's better than Steve Smith? No. I like Jimmy Butler. I think, you know, I got a good price for him. But when it comes down to it, am I going to hold on to him? I mean, no. I'm going to go get rid of him and capitalize on that MT. Because at the end of the day, I like Jimmy. But he's not worth the 500,000 MT he is ultimately going for right now. That's going to wrap it up for our video today, guys. Let me know your thoughts on Jimmy down below in the comments. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, man, I love you guys. And have a blessed day.